How does space shape your mind? How does a sense of place influence you as a person? How does architecture inspire your soul? These are some questions that we'll consider as we look at the exhibition, The Uncertainty of Enclosure, featuring works by Leo Salwerk at Innova. Let's go look at this. This is an exhibition of large-scale installations that have a sort of deeply personal resonance for you because they are uh, inspired by your childhood home, correct? That's correct. My parents came out to look for a house and they couldn't agree on anything for two weeks until the very last day when they drove past the Ford house, which was designed by Bruce Goff. My father chose to buy that house on the spot on the last day that they were visiting. And I guess Goff was known for using unorthodox materials, and that's something that you've adopted in these pieces? The masonry wall in the house is made out of coal and made out of chunks of industrial glass colored, and uh, there is lots of rope used, and there are lots of recycled World War II materials. This piece is inspired by one of the rooms in the house, correct? Right, this, is, um, this piece is based on the ceiling of the house. Bruce Goff had designed the ceiling to be laid up in a spiral of wood. I created this piece to be built out of a spiral of thin strips of veneer. This was actually the sixth attempt. Four of them went into the dumpster because it was, it was actually a really challenging object to make. What would happen is I would think that I had the right shape of curve and I'd start building it and then I'd get to the end and it just wouldn't match up. There are places where you stand in the, in the house where you can hear other people and other conversations as if they were in your head. There's also places that you can stand and speak to someone where um, you hear your own voice in your head. And so there's all these weird acoustic properties. Um, when you're speaking aloud, right? When you're speaking aloud. Just making aloud. sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, there's places where you stand in the house where you hear your own voice, but that's actually just you talking to yourself inside right. your head. Um, <laughs> that's why it's such a creative and inspiring house. That's true. You hear the voices. We're here behind or in front of, whichever you prefer, a piece called Mortar and Marbles. And this one is especially fascinating for the sort of unconventional materials that you use. So this piece is based on a photograph of the interior masonry wall in the house. In these next negative spaces would have been the chunks of coal and uh, glass colored, but I really wanted to isolate the mortar and the marbles um, that were originally embedded in the wall, so I paid a lot of attention to how deep the marbles were pushed into the mortar. I was thinking about the contribution of the actual builder. The architect designed it, but um, there were a lot of um, aesthetic choices made in the execution of the house. But then also there's a strong sense of craft as well, mm -hmm. and so is that something that was yeah. like, inspired by, by yes. you see the builders? Yes, absolutely. All the pieces in the show are crafted with a lot of consideration, and, um, and that is how I feel like the house was built. So this piece is called Rope Bridge. The low ceiling areas of the house are um, covered in hemp rope. The other thing that I really liked about this piece was that it was an opportunity to bring um, smell into the show. The rope is treated with a natural preservative, which is Swedish pine tar. And although you are watching this on video, unfortunately, <laughs> you can't quite see this, but we're sort of enveloped by these rather gentle wafts of the scent, and it's kind of earthy, it's kind of woodsy, a yeah. little bit spicy. Yeah, I would say, I mean, I would think it would make a great cologne. It reminds me of a campfire. I really like the idea of this piece having a strong visual presence, but then adding a whole uh, um, olfactory presence to the entire show. It's really going to the house that clinched the the whole project for me. Just a fantastic exhibition to bring to Innova. We were walking through with the, the house's current owner and uh, he just made an off-the-cuff remark about the uncertainty of enclosure as we were looking through one of these beautiful like curved glass walls. And that phrase just stuck with me that that seemed to say so much about uh, my experience of the house and, and in some ways reflected on Goff's approach to architecture as a um, as something that had some ambiguity to it. Leo, thank you so much for telling us about your work and Sarah, thank you for telling us about the exhibition. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. 
And thanks for being here with us also. We'll see you again next week when we'll look at something else. Mm -hmm.